do this again. Hello and welcome everybody. This is Living Nuts here from YouTube. And uh, I just want to go over a little bit of an intro since this is my first video. Um, excuse me, my throat's a little cracking right now. So, um, the reason why I started the channel, well, um, I want to promote our clan. It's a great clan. Uh, we are a three star specialist. Go ahead and pull up our uh, profile here. If you're looking for a three star clan, I'll go ahead and check us out. This is what we are all about. Um, another reason is to help my clanmates improve. Um, that's definitely a big thing. And then also, um, just to give back to the community, basically to y'all. So, I uh, just want to show. Go ahead and. We went against PL. Last war. And the base just I go ahead and show the the war stats. I just two star attacker or specialist, so nothing really much to show there. Go ahead and get into attacks here. Uh, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and show up number five by DW. Well, hit too many buttons. Now with this base, I believe it's a form base. I know I've seen it before. I don't know if there's another video on YouTube or what, but um <coughs> excuse me. You know what he's gonna do is since the CC is so far on the outside of the base, and he's gonna send in three barbs to get the full CC. Three barbs. Why has this person decided to put his clan castle you know the outside of the base? Is beyond me, but that's okay. Could you some go ahead and take advantage of this poor misjudgment over here? And look at that full CC with three barbs. My boy, absolutely my boy. And what he's gonna do is go ahead and attack from the bottom left over here. Drop a gun, go ahead, drop a few whizzy, start creating that funnel. Already dropping his king already, and with war breakers, and goes ahead and times it well with. Oh, and the king's gonna come in here. Pause it. Pause. Okay, sorry about that. Come in here and basically takes out this bottom part of the base. Now look at that. Already deploying his uh, hounds ready with loons. Or basically two per defense. Quick, uh, quick, fast, in a hurry. Uh, rages where needed, and then he'll uh, have a heal right in the center. So a great call on the spells. Basically, the base is just getting destroyed. I'm not sure why he had all his mines and air bombs in the center. <coughs> Dang. Not sure about that. Nah. Not sure why he did, but okay. Let me go ahead and four times this. Clean it, man. So, uh, a great job. And uh, that's all. So, going to the next attack, it's going to be number. Six by Ivo. Now with this base, you can go ahead and go with a uh, Goho. The right hand side with the Queen. And then he comes a Golem. Put in a small funnel because we really didn't need to. Get the King in. Already putting down some whizzies over here. Queen's coming down. Start taking the CC with the poison spell. AQ's down. And then pulling his odds. Not sure, sure, on that golem. And my golem skin. <coughs> Sorry, guys. The uh, giants. Man, my throat's killing me right now. I was already going down. You got. No more shorts will come around. Still that giant. I want a wrong giant, man. Why not? Why not have a wrong giant? I guess a rule of thumb, what I was taught to is one giant per three defense. So, 
I'll go ahead and keep that in mind. Uh, but it's still a good raid, though. I don't take anything from you. So great job. And we're already in cleanup already, so I'm going to go ahead and zoom out and then. I believe this build a hut right here. In the last one. Yep. That's a great job, man. We got a few hogs left to help with the cleanup. Kink's still up, but it's not going to matter. And then the giant's going to be the hero. Okay. Next tack's going to be. Number 15, where are you at? 15. My uncle. Now, with this base, it has hogs written all over for me. Um, I believe the bombs, if I'm correct, are right here between the altar tower and cannon. And then, just behind this cannon and wizard tower, and then also between uh, this one, this altar tower and cannon, so... He's just gonna do go ahead and bring the lure. And the reason why he dropped one, because if you look when it paused, um, when the Tesla sprung up, it caused the the hog to basically to pause and stop. Now, if you were to de deploy these or four hogs, basically they already been just sitting there pausing, while the defenses just take them out, and that's no good. Oh, I actually set up a total of five actually, but no worries there. And go ahead and. Take out this Tesla. Get the full CC. And then he's gonna bring over to the right hand side. Oh, he's gonna go ahead and do the poison thing. Good idea. The last really don't matter. Let's go ahead and start bringing them over here. And the reason why I say they don't matter is because the the box is just too tanky. But uh go ahead and start CC kill now. Now what I would have done now is since all these defenses right here are starting to target this golem, so deployed at least one. Well, with the at this collector right here, just to ensure that these troops will go where you want them to go. And also, I would have deployed a whiz by this barracks already. I'm not sure if we needed was that four to five whiz, eh, a little, little overkill, but it still gets the job done, so that's really all that matters in the end. Uh, you didn't need to jump for this base because if you look around this, the um, first layer of the base, it's all open. There's no point bringing a jump. It'd be an absolute waste. I can use this golem right here to tank. And it's a two finger drop. Go ahead and do the first heal. Good heal. Placement there. Second heal. Could have been better. It could have been more towards the left side of the uh, town hall. Third heal was great. And then he's going to put one more heal on the giant bombs. If it triggers them one at a time. And the rest of these hogs are going to go ahead and finish off the rest of these defenses. So I still go Ray Man. Look at this. King and Queen are still up. So it's still good. So great job, man. I'm going to go ahead and. Speed up four times speeding and go and get into cleanup. So great job, great job. Okay, we're gonna go into number sixteen by myself. Now with this base, I looked at it. It was tacked, uh, what, I believe, three or four times. And what I saw is these A defense are all in the core, pretty much, you know, within three, four a tile space between each other. And I thought, well, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go about load this base. And what I do is, since the CC is the range of it comes all the way out here by this collector. I believe it's halfway including the collector. Excuse me. <coughs> oh man! Wow, sorry guys. I go ahead and send in a golem, and a golem. Excuse me, a uh, a giant. And uh, my one giant gets the full CC. Not a good placement for CC. Like it's basically pointless and putting troops there. And lucky for me, it was two witches and the rest was archers. So I go ahead and 
prioritize my other uh, witches. And the archers, I'm not really worried about because they're archers. Go ahead and start creating my funnel. Drop my second golem over here. Top side of the base. Create my funnel. Drop the, uh, the AQ. And then I drop the rest of the royals. Warbuckers go down. You got Jumpsfall coming into place. And then here comes the tanky Valks. That's going to come in soon. I can't believe I did not see that screenshot. It's crazy. Anyway, we'll go ahead and drop the uh, jump spell soon. And look at that jump spell. I'm getting like what, one, two, three components for it. Freaking crazy. Bad base gen. I design. Go ahead and drop the last heal. And look, I'm already ascending the loons already. And I did get lucky on going after the AD so that was luck but I'll take any day okay and then basically these looms are just gonna wreck house that's what they're gonna do they're gonna wreck everybody two defenses left with what is that six balloons seven balloons eight possibly now we're down to what five balloons now not gonna happen. It's gonna be three stars. So, yep. And that's it. Okay. Next one. I'm gonna go ahead and get some uh, town hall eights in here. I know y'all. I'm sure you guys want to see some town hall eights attack. Go ahead and go ahead and attack by uh, on number twenty. By Bob. And with the lure with, I was at four uh, hogs. Now, what he could have done, instead of uh, dragging out the uh, CC troops, he could have, since they're already bunched up, go ahead and drop your poison. Because then all you have to do, all you have to worry about is the Valk. But either way, it works, really. I mean, basically just picking your poison, really. <laughs> No pun intended. Okay. I'm not sure why he waited so long to pull his hogs, but he eventually does get him. He does a surgical style. And he basically just, just drops the rest right there by the army camp. He'll be dropping his heels soon. Great heel placement. Very nicely done, man. Very nicely done. Here comes the CC Hogs. You can see he's overwhelming these defenses with all these numbers of Hogs. So. Great job, great job. And that a king up there was taken for all of them, so. It's just way too many Hogs. Go ahead and wait to clean up, go ahead and four times do this. Watch the spaces go down pretty quickly. Look at that. A cockiness right there. I love it, man. <laughs> oh, man. Loving it. Okay. Oh, well. Three star, anyway. But, uh, great job, man. I'll go ahead and, last but not least, get my interface is just crazy now. Now, this is not necessarily a hard base, it's just a weird design layout, and that's what can mess you up. You know, like it's not like uh, symmetrical, so you can easily mess one up. But if you look at it, like you might have double, uh, uh, double giants, double giant. <laughs> I still can't say it. double uh, giant bomb spot. But uh, besides that, like, like, the pet, like it might be a single bomb there by the uh, behind the cannon, one by the archer tower. But if you look at the passing; it's just I'm gonna overwhelm this uh, base by with just. The hogs just it's gonna be crazy. So here comes two or three hogs and uh, can right here to get the lore. And then he gets the four CC. He's gonna go ahead and drop his poison spell. And does he do it? Not so. Sure. What I would have done is go ahead and prioritize the, the witch and the wizards. That's what I would have done. 
Well, he does something pretty, pretty smart. He waits till they get down to pretty low, and then he basically drags them into it. Look at that. A great job, man. And he takes a little bit too long to deploy his hog. And I don't know if it was just fat freeing or if it wasn't register. But he finally gets the rest of his hogs in. Comes to CC. Heels are going down. So it's a good heel placement right there. Second heel is coming in pretty soon. He'll be patient on it. I imagine here comes the heel spell. This would have been a little bit better. And let's see. If your second he uh, heel spell was more to the right, it would definitely would have saved you from using that last heel, but. Definitely does not take away from the attack, though. And then, dang it. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> and now we're basically in the cleanup. So, a uh, great job, man. Definitely a awkward base, but. So, I, I gotta get the job done. So, it doesn't matter how awkward it is. Still have to get a three. So, that's what it's all about. Okay, guys. Well, that's basically it. Um, if you have anything I need to improve on, I'll go ahead and leave a comment below. Remember, this is my first time, so uh, it'll go easy on me. But, um, yeah, just leave a like and subscribe. I'll definitely appreciate it. And then, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.